So in the previous video, we talked about hip replacement. So is there a difference options for the hip replacement or is it all a same procedure? Please just watch this video for more information on hip replacement surgeries. So hip joint is actually a ball and socket joint where you have a ball and a socket and it moves just like your hinge in the dough. So when one of that is not smooth, it is irregular, that becomes arthritic, it produces pain, it restricts your movement and you are in severe pain. Okay, you meet a doctor, he says it's almost an end stage, you need a hip replacement, then you have so much of options now. Unlike your knee replacement, hip has a spectra. So you have an option saying a cemented or an uncemented. This all decisions are taken by your doctor based on your age, your requirement and so many other factors. If you are sort of an old like 70 years and plus, they would probably choose a cemented hip replacement because the bones are a little weaker, you need an augmentation cement there. But a younger person, the bones are already strong, we need to incorporate it well, so we use an uncemented hip replacement. So now this is about the stem. Coming about this bearing surface where it moves, there are multiple options. The earliest one was called metal on metal, where a metal cup is there, a metal ball is there, but now it is almost been called off because they produce a lot of metal debris. Just think, when you have two metal rubbing against each other, they release all the metal ions. It doesn't happen on a single day, but over the time it releases, releases, releases and years after, these metal ions go into your body circulation and they have a significant problem. So that is a major callback of one of the most important companies in the world uh, saying this metal on metal has been calling back and we had to repeat the surgery for those. So now it is almost a thing of past. Now what options do we have is a metal on a polyethylene or a metal on a ceramic or a ceramic on a polyethylene and finally you have a ceramic on a ceramic. If you see which is the best now things are moving towards ceramic because ceramic is not a metal obviously so they have a very little debris and even the debris is doesn't cause you any systemic problem so ceramic on poly is what we routinely use but in very high-end people who are very active sports or you think they are like very young age we just start doing operation in those scenarios ceramic and ceramic is also a good option but it is not just a implant and the material but it's about the surgical technique and how your surgeon does the surgery so leave it to him he'll be the best judge to tell you what will suit you this video is to just enlighten you about the options available things happening around you but it's not for you to just tell your doctor please do this your doctor is the best person to decide so leave it to him okay if you have anything more to know about in this particular regards please drop down a message in the comment box We'll be happy to reply you.